Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to have you do a math challenge. Um, I want to show you this. I don't want anybody to uh, make their brain go. So here's what I want you to do. Pay attention to this. We're going to do this problem together. And then I want you to do this page. Okay. Um, but don't worry. Okay. If you, if you think this makes your brain hurt, don't do it. Okay. But I do want you to understand the way the numbers work. All right. So here we go. Are you ready? 63 minus 24. What we are trying to do, the, the things that we've been doing all this week have been subtracting from two digit numbers. So we're subtracting from two digit numbers. And one of the things that we want to do is know as many ways as possible so that when we get a problem, we don't have, uh, we don't have only one thing that we could do. We want to do the way that works the best for you. Okay, so let's take a look. 63 minus 24. Now, we know that we can break apart these numbers like this. If I have, if I want to take away just the tens, then I have 20 over here, right? The tens, 20. And that means that I have four over here. Okay, you're with me so far. 63 minus the 20 just takes two of the tens away. 63 minus 20 equals 43. Okay? But we're not done. 43, I want to get this down to my 10. All right? Now, 63, or, sorry, 63 minus 20, two tens are gone, that's 43. I want to get this down to the zero, to the next lower 10, okay? So I need to take away how many? Three ones. Here's what I do. I take away three ones, right? I still have to take away four, but to get it down to the next zero, I take away three. If I started with four and I have three over here that I used to take these away, how many are left? One. I've used the 20. I've used three of the four in the ones column. Now I need to use the other one. 40 minus one equals 39. All right. Now, boys and girls, Mr. Garrett has to look and think really hard to make this work inside of his brain. This is not the way that I was shown. This is the way that I was shown. If your parents say, this is the way I want you to do it because I can help you with this, that's fine. If you say, I understand this one so much better, then you get to do this one, all right? And I'll, and I'll tell you that in just a moment. All right, so let's go over here. We have 63 minus 24. Three on the top, four on the bottom. Bigger on the bottom, better borrow. So I don't have six in the tens column. I only have five. That 10 comes over here and we add it to the three. I no longer have three. One, 10 plus 3, one set of 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 minus 4, count it down, I get to 9. If I say something plus 4 equals 13, then I know that it's 9 also. Okay? So addition is the opposite of subtraction. 5 minus 2 is the same as something plus 2 equals 5. Okay, whichever way you want to do it, that is a three. I got 
39 when I did it this way. I got 39 when I did it this way. They're both the same answer, but we did it a different way. 63 minus 24, 39. 63 minus 24 this way, 39. Now, here's the important part. Are you ready? On page 294, there are these problems. Number one is the one that I want to do, 52 minus 25. I'm going to cover that up. I want to show you. Use any strategy to find the difference. And if you were in my class, we would be shouting, I can do it. I want to hear it. Nope, I can't hear you. I can do it. Your turn. Okay. So 52 minus 25, and I can use any strategy. Well, any strategy means any strategy. 52 minus 25. What could we do? I could use models. One, two, three, four, five, and two ones. I have my tens. I have my ones. I need to take away two tens and five ones. Can I take away five ones? Nope, I cannot. So I'm going to take this one, bring it over here. One, two, three, four, five. One, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two sets of five make a ten frame. This ten is not on the tens column anymore. It's over here. I no longer have uh, two in the ones column. Now I have twelve. Can I take away five? Yeah, because I'm being careful and using ten frame, I just take this set of five away. I've already done that. How many do I have to take away here in the in the tens column? I have to take away two. So there's one, two that are taken away. I've done that. How many are left over here? Five and two more. That makes seven. How many are left over here? Two. So 52 minus 25 is 27. Now, let's do that a different way. Uh, remember the other day when I said that I, I like to turn my paper sideways? 52 minus 25. Okay, I'm not using this. I'm turning it sideways. It's its own problem. And I want to use any strategy. I'm going to do it a different way. I'm just going to do my regrouping. 5 cannot come from 2. 2 minus 5, I can't do it. Bigger on the bottom, better borrow. So one of these 10s is going to go over here. I don't have 5 anymore. I only have 4. I don't have 2 over here because I'm adding this 10. Now I have 12. 12 minus 5, I know that that is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. 4 minus 2 is 2. 27. So 52 minus 25 this way is 27. 52 minus 25 this way is 27. But guess what? It says we can use any way. Let's do it another way. 52 minus 25 Oh, here it is. This is our, I hope you remember, our open number line. What do I start with? Anything. I can start, I don't need to have zero, one, two, three, four. If my number line goes this way and this way, I can start wherever I want. And this time I'm going to start with 52. 52, let's just take some away. What do I need to do? I'm going to take away two sets of 10. 
one set of 10, two sets of 10. When I take away one set of 10, that becomes 42. When I take away another set of 10, that becomes 32. I didn't take any ones away yet. Am I done? I've only done the tens. Well, now I need to take away five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Each one of those is subtracting one. From 32, this is a little, I got a little close. 32, I go one down, 31. The next one, 30. The next one, 29. The next one, 28. And the last one, where we end up, 27. So 52 minus 25 is 27. 52 minus 25 is 27. 52 minus 25 is 27. Do all of these work? They absolutely do. When your mom or your dad says, I want to help you, but I don't know how to do that new math. They can show you the way that they really know that will help you. Okay. Uh, I want to start to do another one and then I'm going to guess that I'm going to have a lot of people, even though I can't hear them, I'm going to have a lot of people saying, no, no, don't do that. You decide. I'm going to do 52 minus 25 with dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Um, oh no, but I lost count. Hmm. Is it possible to do this problem by counting dots and then crossing out 25? It absolutely is. Is that the best way to do it? Is that how a mathematician from Mr. Garrett's class would do it? Probably not. But if it helps you understand, then I want you to do it. Okay? I'm not going to take all of our time because we're running out of time on our computer. Um, but if you want to do it like this, it's absolutely okay. Use your models. Do your regrouping. Use an open number line. Break it apart. Whichever way you want to do it, that's the way I want you to try. Okay? And it even says right here, any strategy to find the difference. Okay, I want you to do page 294. You already know the first one. Do page 294. Do this. I will post the answers later today. Have a great day.